Now to a story only on two some scary moments when this man got robbed at gunpoint. And it turns out the gunman could be linked to other armed robberies on the city's southwest side. Let's get to CBS 2's Jermont Terry live at police headquarters with what else is linking these crimes. Jermont. Joe, police believe it's the same car involved in two brazen robberies. Now, the target, elderly people walking by alleys or pulling in their garages. And tonight, the latest victim speaks out. A grandfather recalls his fear this week. No, but I was just frozen, like complete shock, just, just completely frozen. Here's why. You see this guy jumping out of this car in an alley? He runs into a garage with a gun, catching the grandfather off guard. Hey, I'm a que... And he was telling me, give me your wallet. Cartera. Just seconds before the robbery, video shows the grandfather pulling into his garage near 52nd and Artesian. The man's wife catches the robber, pointing the gun at her husband's chest from the backyard. She saw the guy come sprinting in with the gun. Eric Rojas's grandfather is too frightened to show his face, yet grandson is furious. These are elderly people. These are people that usually you would think can't defend themselves. It turns out the same car is spotted on a different video just days before in Gage Park. Take a look. The guy in the same gray or silver Kia jumps out and get this, you can see the gun. This time he robs a 64 year old walking his dog down the alley blocks away. The fact that it was the same individual and they happened just like five, six days apart, it's like really concerning that no one in the neighborhood had any idea. The same car is spotted in both robberies, yet Chicago police did not issue a community alert. I feel like they should have at least like alerted the people nearby that there was an incident. These alleys are narrow, forcing people to back into their garages, making them easy targets. You can find plenty of security cameras, but this gunman doesn't care. If someone is willing to go out in daylight into alleys with cameras, what's going to stop him? What's going to stop him from going out at night? Night, police have no one in custody but neighbors in that Gage Park community. They're hoping that someone is arrested soon because they fear if this guy strikes again, he just may use that weapon that he's carrying. Reporting live outside CPD headquarters tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe? Thanks, Jermont.